the genetic resources that we have come from really very few species that we eat and consume and use for all sorts of food purposes. And preserving those, conserving those is vital for the future generations. We have to make sure that we can keep that diversity available, accessible and usable for humanity into the future. It provides a sort of international watchdog, a means by which countries can come together and hold each other to account in what they're doing, monitor what's happening to genetic resources around the world, and focus on real actions to achieve sustainability, sustainable use. These aren't meant to just sit there as resources. In agriculture, they have to be used. And this is something that the Commission brings a unified means of, de of delivering, of bringing these things together in a constructive way so that we can all benefit from sustainable use. The Commission really needs to be there. If it wasn't, we'd have countries playing their own personal interests. We'd have private corporations playing their own personal interests in, in making use of resources, which would lead very quickly to those who have most benefiting most, but many others being exploited and degraded, their resources being degraded in the process. So this is something where the, the role of the Commission is essential in providing an oversight across all of those countries and providing a mutual accountability for how genetic resources are used to ensure they're being used for the benefit of humanity, not just for personal gain. What we're seeing now is countries are really aware and awake to genetic resources, but they're often still struggling to deal with them given the maze of complex legislation and interactions that these things involve. So where the Commission can play a very valuable role is in helping to ensure that developing countries in particular have the capacity to engage with other countries on an equal basis, not simply have less information therefore be less equipped, but be able to state their own case on a, a, an equal footing with those who perhaps may have much more advanced or much broader knowledge of the particular crops or animals in question. And so bringing this equitability to the process I think is very important. Also countries are, are developing their own frameworks now for how to deal with sustainable use of genetic resources. But those need to move beyond the paper. They need to become put into action. They need to become practical processes that will ensure sustainable use not just be tied up in a, in a piece of legislation somewhere or a policy statement, but turned into practical actions. It brings a real connection between the role of the Global Forum on Agricultural Research, and we exist to be a, a multi-stakeholder body looking at all these issues, bringing the, the focus of attention to the poor at the centre of the processes, and looking at how all of these mechanisms can benefit the poor in particular. And so that means a very good interaction between the intergovernmental process of the Commission and what we're doing in practical terms with farmers, with NGOs, with research bodies, with extension bodies and so on, to really turn those principles into practice. And so I think it's a very good synergy between the Commission and, and the Global Forum on Agriculture Research because we're, we're both striving for the same aims, but we're each fulfilling a part of that, that jigsaw of necessary actions. Well, my six words, firstly, intergovernmental, very important status. Biodiversity, a core focus of what the Commission works on. Sustainability, a vital push that the Commission is striving for. And two other functions, coordination. The, the Commission plays a very important coordinating role between different treaties and between different governments in bringing a, a logic and a flow to how these processes hang together. And vitally, I think, is that of support, supporting actions all around the world to ensure the sustainable use of, of genetic resources of plants and animals in agriculture.